Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the next part on the Fiesta. So, um, so yeah guys, uh, before we get into it again, thanks very much for your comments. Really appreciate everyone's support. Um, it, my, most of you were saying, great little car, fantastic bargain, um, you know, should, should, should do it right once I sell it and stuff. So yeah, thanks, thanks for all the, you know, all the comments guys, really appreciate it. And uh, we had, I had a couple of uh, say about the, the locking wheel nut as well. Um, you know, take it to Ford's. They've got the, the, the keys. They've got the, like, um, a set of, you know, all, all the cut. I think it's eight colours or something it is with, with these locking wheel nuts. So, um, yeah, I had a few comments about a few bits and pieces. And, um, yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thanks very much. So, in today's video... Um, I'm going to be hitting the inside, so <clears throat> take the seats out. I'm going to sort of, you know, give the, the seats a good clean um, with the the, uh, the upholstery clean and the carcher. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the inside, hoover it all out, shampoo the carpets, get all that sorted out as well. We're going to have a look at the, um, it's going to take some time, but the dog hair in the boot, I've got to get all that off or start to get it all off. Um, so I'll be doing that as well hitting that having a crack at that so um so yeah that's going to be today's video it's going to be sort of just yeah just really sort of cracking on with the inside um if you followed me on instagram last night you would have seen uh i had a delivery of the bumper so the bumper turned up yesterday late last night about six o'clock so yeah, if you haven't already, you know, uh, follow me on Instagram, and you can see all these the uh, you know the the things I put on before, put doing the videos and stuff, just sneak peeks of of what's coming up, what I'm doing, and stuff like that. Um, and what I did was, this morning, guys, was literally I just run the bumper straight down to the paint shop, um, and he said to me, "Give me a call at two o'clock, and it should be ready." So. Yeah, really good, really, really good. The luck continues with this car. Absolutely, doing a lottery tonight. I've had a few of you say that actually. Comments, did a lottery, so I must do the lottery. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna pick that bumper up hopefully later. I'm gonna give him a call at two o'clock. He said to see how he's getting on, but he said yeah, definitely should be out done today. So that'd be good. So um, that should be tomorrow's video. If we'll do the bumper and we'll take it out for a clean, and, and then yeah, just sort of carry on with it, but. Let's crack on for today's video, guys. Let's, let's start the inside. Let's get this cleaned up as best we can on the inside. Take the seats out and you know give it a good, good, good spruce up. So yeah, let's do this. Hey guys, so yeah, just saw there, just took the seats out. Um, they're pretty grimy, as normal really. Um, that's why I like taking the seats out. So you can like put them in the, in the actual light and you can actually see, like you can't really see that from when you're sitting in the car. But when you bring it outside, yeah, you can really see that uh, it does need a good clean. So uh, I'm glad I've done this. Um, I do like to do this to be fair because once you take the seats out, you can really get this inside absolutely spotless. You know, as as best you, as better as you know, better than keeping the seats in. So, for what it takes, I definitely think it's worth it, and I'll definitely do it every time. Um, it's just, yeah, you just feel, just feel a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit better if uh, if it, if all this is gone, ready for the next next owner. You know, um, so. Yeah, you can see, guys, it's a little bit dirty in here. <laughs> so, so let's do this. Yeah, let's. Uh, oh God, let's start. Let's start getting this cleaned up. Um, I'll set you up, and you can see the the transformation of this of this um, inside a car and this, and the seats. So, um, yeah, let's do this, guys.
Okay, so there we go. All the seats nice and clean. Yeah, they come up really well. Um, so I'm just gonna leave them in, in the uh, outside to dry. But uh, I didn't realize um, once disconnecting the, the, the sockets, there's like wires disconnect like underneath. Um, I didn't realize at airbags. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we've got an airbag tag here. I think it's in there. I can feel like a lump in there. So there's obviously airbags in the seat. So hopefully there's no problem. I should have disconnected the battery really, but. Hopefully by just disconnecting the, the connections, it should be sort of all right. But um, anyway, guys, yeah, quite really well. Uh, there's a couple of bits really that I, I want to see what it's like when it's dry. I want to see if I can get that out as well. I need to get a bit, maybe rub that down a little bit. Just try and get a bit best I can really. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move on to the boot. Um, and as you know, with all the dog hair, that's uh deep inside this carpet I need to try and work on it and um, you know I want, to, I want to get as much as I can off of this I want to as you know I don't want to put people off when they look at it and go well, I'm, not, I'm not having that so that's not what I want to do so <laughs> yeah I, I remember seeing um, uh, Rob from uh, salvage rebuilds he was doing um, a focus uh, a little while back and I remember him uh, doing his, all his inside as well we've done it on his focus and this was the same thing all this dog hair was in the same location in the boot and stuff like that but um, he never showed how to get it off so damn you Rob I'm only joking guys only joking <laughs> um, so yeah I just, have to, just have to go here guys and have, have, a, have a good go at it see, see how I go on um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably won't be able to um, record this one because I won't be able to set you up and to me be able to. I'm, I'll, I'll try. I won't be able to set you up at an angle or something. I don't know, but me jumping in this boot and and, and jumping all over the place is going to be a bit awkward for me to to film it as well. So um, I might have to come back to you in a second, hopefully in a better state than this. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, guys, this looks a bit mad, <laughs> but. Um... Yeah, I thought I'd try this first. So what I did was, <laughs> um, got some really good tape that I had laying about. So it didn't cost me anything, just it was laying about. I thought, yeah, let me go for this. So what I did was just tape it all up, <laughs> as you can see. So what I thought, if I, if I you know, give it a good whack down, you know, push it down, really get it, get it pushed down in there, and it'll pull up um, as much as it, as much of this as you know I can and then anything that comes up sort of helps in it you know so that's what I yeah that's what I kind of done um so let's pull up this let's pull up this one here and let's see if how much of a difference it quickly makes and I've been whacking it for the last sort of 10 minutes really all the way over so yeah let's have a little peel up let's have a little look Too bad. It's pulled up quite a lot of that. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, yeah, it's, pulled, it's pulled up. Let me do that way actually. Yeah, look, it's pulled up quite a lot off of there. So that is really good. So let me just do the other bit. Not bad, guys. I'm quite impressed with that, really. Just for a first go, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's pulled it up. <laughs> it's pulled it up quite well. It's left, obviously, little patches. But, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Right, guys, I'm going to get it all off, and then I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, guys, so there you go. It's all off. And it has pulled up quite a bit, to be fair. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with it, really. Um, I have got some different tape. This one's obviously the back of that is obviously still the worst. 
Um, but it's coming, it's coming up. It's definitely getting looser. It's definitely getting less. So I've got some other um, tape, different types of masking tape and different types of uh, bits and pieces like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to hit it up with a different type of tape and um, yeah, keep working at it and see if what I can see what I can do. So yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, guys. So I've moved on to blue. <laughs> um, it's just I haven't specifically gone out and bought any of this stuff that I'm using. It's like a big um, it's like a big uh, lint roller, really, isn't it? <laughs> what I'm doing because it's certainly sticky. I'm trying to pull it up. So yeah, this is blue tape masking tape i think it is just hanging around just laying about i thought yep i'll have i'll use that let's have a try that one so yeah let's just pull up a bit over here again guys and let's see if uh this is any good so uh, it's pulling up some but not a massive amount is it really i'm trying to push it right down so it grabs it you know Yeah, it's pulling up some, but a lot of it's still staying down. So maybe blue's not the one. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna carry on then. Get all this, get all this off. This this one was pretty good anyway. It was getting here, wasn't it, this one? This side. Um, yeah, I'll get it all off and then we'll have another look in a minute. Okay, so there we go. That's the result of uh, lifting the blue tape up, um, and it is it's pulling it is pulling stuff up. So, you know what I'm doing is helping, um, but it's obviously going to take some time. So, guys, what I'm going to do is just work on it and come back to you. Sort of keep coming in and out. Um, you know what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to get it sort of cleaned up, um, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll let you know and show you how we get on in a little while and um yeah come back to you soon guys right okay guys so as you can see seats are back in and yep mats are back in place it is looking really smart and decent in there yeah i'm really really uh glad that i did that take the seats out give it a clean it's just it just you know i'm gonna do that on every car um but yeah it's really come out really well really decent bit dark in here sorry guys who bought a torch and all um yeah you can't really see anything sorry guys <laughs> but uh yeah it's really nice in there um you can see the boot it's better but it's not like it's not as good as i want i want to get it better than this so i'm still going to work it here. so this is definitely not finished this boot so yeah there we go but i'll just yeah over the next couple of days i'll just um i'll just crack on with that and just keep keep at it keep working it keep trying to get this get those hairs up and hopefully they come up and i can you know get it um as uh, good as i can i was thinking about getting um a boot liner um for the for the boot and just putting it in place and then sort of just hiding it but but telling the person that buys it so i'm not i'm hiding it but i'm not hiding it so i'm hiding it but i'm going to tell them um because only because like you know it, whether or not i want to be able to get this up any good if i just put a plastic boot liner in there a fiesta boot liner in there it'll um you know it'll uh, look a lot better in there <clears throat> so not quite sure about that guys but yeah i'm sure you'll be able to drop me a comment and let me know what you think about doing that um so but before we get to the end of this video i just want to quickly show you what i've just picked up ready um for tomorrow for tomorrow's video the bumper from the paint shop just picked it up guys yep and it's looking really smart really good really really chuffed with that really happy so that is going to be our tomorrow's job putting all the grills back in putting all the, all the fogs back on um, and yeah, putting his bumper uh, back on the car tomorrow. Uh, put on the, put on, back on the car. Um, so he charged me um, 
80 pound paint that which I thought was, was reasonable 80 pound uh, was was I thought was a pretty good price for that and he done it just today so I literally dropped it off this morning um, it's now three o'clock so um, yeah it just took him the, the, just one one day to get it done for me and he charged me 80 pound which you know can't really complain about that as a result so there we go guys um, that's today's video thanks again for watching thanks for checking out the content see what's happening with this fiesta um, don't forget to drop me a comment guys and um yeah if you haven't already don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel really appreciate everyone's support really appreciate everyone's opinion on bits and pieces uh you normal my normal su subscribers will will definitely uh, vouch for that me me getting you know me always replying to the comments always uh, taking people's comments on board as well i love all that sort of side of it so that's great um and yeah guys again thanks very much for watching and See you on the next one, which will be tomorrow.